what they go do with me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm poking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Gang hop out, then we clear. All right, what's up, y'all? We got a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today, we got a special guest, Big Mally. Yeah, big gangster. So, um, I'm going to ask you a couple questions. Just say the first thing that comes to mind. I'm going to do some rapid fire questions. All right. Um, who do you text the most? <laughs> uh, like my team, my label. What's your sign? Libra. What's your favorite slang word? Gang. <laughs> What's one thing on your bucket list? Uh, like before I die, type, type shit. Type shit. <laughs> type shit. <laughs> um, I don't know. Probably like scuba diving or some shit. Scuba diving, zip lining, jumping out of plane. Hell nah, not no jumping out of plane. <laughs> but scuba diving, yeah. Okay, okay. Um, red flag on social media on the guy. If he in all the likes, buys you in all the fucking likes. <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that. If I go to a female page and I see a dude that I follow in every single like, I'll unfollow you. And when a nigga posts his bitch, I'll unfollow you. It's no point in me following you. Is that when he posts his bitch? Yeah. <laughs> no point in me following you. Okay. Um. What's an artist you get compared to a lot? Asian, Asian doll. How about that? But that's my sister though. I love her. Yeah. Um, what's a conspiracy theory you think is real? Like it's aliens, the world's flat, Titanic. Mm, the Bermuda Triangle. Yeah. yeah. I think that shit real. Type shit. Okay, um, and last one, who's your fav favorite artist outside of hip hop? Uh, like um, R&B, reggae, pop? Um, Oh, that's like all I listen to. Uh, probably like <laughs> only other br genre I listen to is gospel, like Ka okay. Tasha Cobb. Okay. Okay. Period. A little gospel in there. Yeah. All right. So <clears throat> let's get into it. Give us some backstory of your name. How do you get the name Big Mally? Um, I was in the studio with one of my friends, and I was rapping. At first, I was going by Mally NSB, and then I was rapping on a song. No, what was I doing? I was rapping a song, and I had came out the booth. And my friend was like, um, he was like, yeah, that's Big Mally, not the little one. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and then, um, then I was like, hey, Mally. And he was like, no, that's Big Mally. Her, her name Big Mally. And I just took it and ran with okay. it. How long ago was that? Like three years ago. Come on, so you've been rapping a long time. Yeah. So you changed your name before? Mm-hmm. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the rebrand Big Mally. What was it before? Mally and SB. Okay. Okay, so what made you want to change the name? But aside from that, did you already want to change your name or? Not really. At first, it kind of started like an alter ego. Yeah. But then it just stuck. Like just everywhere stuck? I okay. went, people was saying "Big Mally, Big Mally." So. Okay. Do you feel like you outgrown that other ego? No, or? she definitely still there. She's still there. Mm -hmm. A little here and there. Okay, okay. So how you first got started into music? Uh, I just been rapping since I was like eight years old. I always wanted to rap. Like, my uncle was a DJ, and my stepdad, he was making beats and stuff. I kind of, like, grew up around it type shit. Was your family supportive, I guess, if your father was a DJ? Um, was they supportive of you doing music, or? Yeah, they was. My real father passed away, but my stepdad, he's, he's real supportive, though. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, and if he wasn't doing music, what do you think he'd be doing? Not no fucking lashes. <laughs> hair? Nah, nah, hell no. Nah. I'd probably be doing like real estate or something. Okay. Something big. Something big? Yeah. Okay, so you into houses or anything? Yeah, I like interior design. Fine, stuff like shit. Yeah, I did. Okay, okay, okay. So when growing up, who was he listening to? Nikki. <laughs> Nikki, um, Drake, Wayne, Gucci, mm, Yo Gotti, Meat Mill, Trina. Shit like that. A little bit Ooh, of everybody. Shit. Yeah. How you feel about this 2024 Nicki Minaj? I like it. I love it. I love so you it. off a Bigfoot, I guess. I'm a barb. <laughs> I'm, I'm not saying, you feel me? It's, it's, when you a barb, it's like you got to pick a side, you know? Like right. It's Nicki versus then whoever. Everybody else. Yeah, like everybody else. <laughs> okay. Do you feel like, you know, 
I feel like rap beef is inevitable. I feel like everybody gets into it. Do you feel like there's limits when it comes to rap beef? No. No? Mm-mm. Everything's on the table? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, how are you feeling about music currently, though? Uh, I, I fuck with it. I think it's different. I see a lot of, new, like, new stuff coming mm-hmm. that I like that yeah. I ain't never seen before. Like, who? You want to shout out some money? Like, different sounds or different artists? Or? Just, like, I say, like, sounds like the sexy drill. The okay. drill. That's new for me because I'm from the South. So, right. the drill, like, that y'all do up here, like, is new mm-hmm. to us, but we fuck with it. I like yeah. that. I like the Jersey shit, the okay. Philly shit. Yeah, the um, hip shit. Memphis, mm-hmm. like, Atlanta. Like, I fuck with all the sounds, yeah. All the sounds. So, what do you feel like is inspiring you nowadays? Cause you've been doing music a long time, so like, what kind of keeps you going still? Like, what what keeps you? Like my family. For sure. Yeah, I feel like they the reason why I go so hard. Mhm. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> your music video, I feel like. Yeah. It was you, so <laughs> many times. <laughs> <laughs> I only ever seen one other person do that was Baby Tron. You saw that video? Yeah. Right, so like, but you're the only female that I've ever seen to do that. Mm-hmm. So what, I guess, what made you want to take that route? Like, making it all about you? Because usually you have your girls in the video, y'all have the cars, y'all be mm-hmm. traveling, it look like. So uh, what made you switch it up for this one? Because I just, I believe in that song, so I wanted to do something different. And then, like, I wanted to do a video that was creative. Like, me and my camera, me and my director, we always do. Like, I'm good for running guns. Like, I like quick shit. Because right. I really don't like shooting videos. What? So, like, that was the first time I heard an <laughs> artist say that. You don't like shooting videos? So what you like? Just being in the studio? I do, but it just take too long. Okay. Got to like, keep saying the same song. Yeah, that's the times, only part. Different but, scenes. Might got to change your set. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, I mean, for that video, I just felt, I, I worked hard on that. Like, I put a lot of thought into that shit, too, so. Mm-hmm. I just felt like it was time for something different. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so are you liking music videos more now? What yeah, like, I'm happen? starting to get more into the visuals. Okay. For sure. Do you feel like you just want it to be more creative moving forward? Yeah, I do. I okay. want to change my shit up. Okay. Yeah, definitely. For sure. Okay, so, Rolling Loud's coming up. You hit a Rolling Loud stage at one point. Yeah. Do you want to go back? How you feeling about it? Mm, I would love to go back. For sure. I think anybody would. Right. But, you know, it's, I don't know. Like, I feel like everybody had a time. hmm Yeah. So, definitely going back soon. Okay, so speaking of time, you with South Coast Music Group. Yeah. So, I feel like every year they have an artist that's, like, on their shit. It was the baby. Then it was Tusi, I feel like, last year. So, do you feel like the pressure? Do you feel like you next up? Like, how you feeling about, like, is momentum high for you, 2024? How you feeling? Yeah. Especially, like, with me being the first lady, mm-hmm. I definitely feel a lot of pressure. Like, I got to, you know, like, I've been doing good, but, like, I'm, I'm very humble. Like, I know I'm still coming up. Yeah. So, I still, I'm still willing to grind and shit. But I'm going to get there, though. Hopefully yeah. this year. I mean, like, I feel like definitely your work ethic is up there. It seemed like you took a little pause at some point. I did, yeah. What happened? What was going on? Life was life in. <laughs> That's, life was just life in, and I had to get my shit together. Okay. Was it kids, or was it family? Hell no, or was, I don't oh. got no kids. I don't have you no You know, when people say that, when a girl say that, people think it's kids all the time. No, <laughs> I don't have no kids. Just, you know, shit. Just yeah, just life stuff. Life stuff. Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. How do you feel about that, though? Like, especially being a female artist, they feel like, you know, people feel like it's never a good time to have kids. Like, Sexy Red Guy Pregnant, Mona Leo, Halle Bailey. Like, do you feel like it's the perfect time to ever settle down and have a family? Or do you feel like just grind until you feel comfortable? What do you think? I feel like it depends on that person's situation. Like, if you in a position and you can handle that, Mm -hmm. then do it. But if you not, then don't. But I'm on like I'm more so like I don't want to have no kids until I know I can give them the life that I didn't have. Right. Like I don't want to have no kids until I'm there. Like right. I want to be able to take care of my kids. Like I don't want to be having to worry about oh I gotta get this much show so I can goddamn da da da. Like no, yeah. I want to be set. Like I right. want them to be set. Okay. How old are you? You young, right? Twenty two. Yeah. Yeah. You young. Girl, you got time. <laughs> <laughs> How are you feeling about? I guess. The music industry overall, especially being a female artist, females is hot right now. Yeah, I like it. I feel like 
it's a good time because it ain't never been this much females at once. It's mm-hmm. like we definitely running the game right now, so I fuck with it. Who's some um girlies you fuck with right now? Um, Mellow Bucks. She, she hard. Um, Lakia. Mm-hmm. She hard. Um, uh, I like Glow. Glorilla hard. Mm-hmm. Nikki, of course. Lotto. Right. Um, all of them. Spice. Koi. I like everybody. Okay. And what do you feel like makes you stand out from everybody else? You know, there's so many right now. Mm, I don't really know. Like, I feel like we all represent one thing because we females, but like we all got something different about it. But I feel like I could just, I just bring like some type of fire, like some type of aggressiveness. Like, mm-hmm. not saying, you know, like everybody be on some soft shit, but. Yeah. I feel like I bring, like, a different type of energy. Like, when you see me, you would never think I sound like how I rap. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah. yeah. Do you, um, <clears throat> do you feel like, what do you feel like is holding back, you feel like, from taking it to the next level, if anything? Mm. Well, what was holding me back was, like, I feel like I just had to, like, like, I pray a lot, mm-hmm. and I feel very blessed every day, but... I feel like I just had to get with God and just talk to him about shit. Like, tell him. Like, I asked him to do a whole bunch. Mm -hmm. Like, isolate me, prepare me, Mm -hmm. guide me. So, like, I feel like before I wasn't doing that, I was just praying. I wasn't really talking. But now that I started, like, sitting down and talking and, like, Mm -hmm. actually, like, getting closer, I felt like that's, I wasn't listening. Like, my my best friend, well, my brother always tell me, God don't bless no mess. And I Mm -hmm. will always, like, ignore it. But, like, that shit is so true. Like, God will block your blessings if you don't buckle down. And I felt like I let a lot of shit go. And then he humbled me. And that's what made me be like, okay, this is what you have to do to get where you need to be. So that's what I'm doing right now. Okay. All right. And I was going to ask you, how do you feel about, like, a lot of people feel like you got to have a gimmick or something catchy to you. Or they feel like the girls got to sell sex. You don't really give me those vibes. So, um, do you feel like it's necessary? Do you feel like your image is more important? Or you feel like talent will overshine? Like, you know? I feel like do what works for you. Right. <laughs> do what works for you. But I don't care. I'm taking my style, my lane, all the way to the top. Like, I'm coming in. I'm leaving how I came in. I'm coming up how I grinded. Like, I ain't changing shit. I always tell them that. Yeah. So, no surgery, no none of that? Oh, no. I ain't say that. But, <laughs> <laughs> nothing, like, nothing too crazy, but you know, everybody want to do a little something. A little something. Yeah. A little something. Nothing crazy. A little something. Yeah. So, um, you know, like, being darker skinned, people feel like the light skinned girls got it easy. What do you have to say about that? Um, I agree to a certain extent. Okay. Like, colorism is a real thing. For and sure. I see it a lot. I just feel like, you know, like, mm. It's unfortunate because it's, it happens, like, every day. So it's like I really don't even know, honestly, what to say. Like, I'm not even about to sit up here and act like I got an answer. <laughs> yeah. Yo, it's just sad, and I hate to see it, but it's facts. What would you want to see change, though? Like, how do you want us to, like, what would a perfect, I guess, world look like, I guess, in that, when it comes to that? You know, there's a whole list of shit we could change. Right. But, you know what I'm a perfect <laughs> world, no bills. <laughs> Low gas. <laughs> Three dollar oh hamburgers. I'm really talking about when it comes to like females oh. in the music industry and the whole color. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> she oh. went back. She went to the real shit. Oh God. <laughs> um, with the females, I think more more collabing, more okay. uplifting each other. I think you did work with a lot of girls. Working with I work with a few, yeah. Like I am for the girls most definitely, but I also like I'm one of them I fuck who fuck with me. Like, mm-hmm. I don't just parlay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no. And who do you feel like are some underrated females that need more shine, including yourself? Me. Mm-hmm. Um, Lil Bree, my girl. Um, ooh, Melo, she's so hard. She got motion, but, like, when she got down and get through, she going to give you a problem. Mm-hmm. Um, who else? Bree. Me, um, ooh, that's so crazy. I don't really I'm going blink right now, right? Yeah, <laughs> um, I'm finding it. 
It's cool. It's Cash cool. Kyla. She are Cash too. She, we all from North Carolina. Right. Um, so, yeah. It's a lot of other girls too. Oh, um, Queen Izzy. Fake Bitches Hero. Mm -hmm. um, you know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's cool. I got more, it's but. It's cool. It's a whole list of them. Yeah. Girls doing a big one right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, I feel like th about like three years ago, your numbers were super, super high. You was getting like high numbers on everything. Yeah. And then like, you know. Right now, it's a little bit lower than before. Do numbers discourage you at any way? Or you feel like it's part of the grind it's, and it's a marathon? Um, It's part of the grind. Because like you said, I, I took a break. Right. So I expected that. Like I, I was ready for that. But now I'm just trying to keep it's going so I can get it back to where it was. Mm -hmm. And what should we be looking forward to 2024? Um, a whole bunch of stuff. New project. Make sure y'all go stream. Note my single. More visuals. More interviews. More content. I'm coming outside more. Y'all know I don't like coming outside. <laughs> Why you don't like coming outside? I don't like people. Okay. Mm -hmm. like you an introvert? You feel like? Yeah, I don't like talking a lot. Only like when shit like this. Yeah. yeah. Like you cool. I'm <laughs> vibing with you. Okay. Any other interviewer, I would just be like, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> okay. And then, um, I guess, given somebody watching this, give them some advice on their musical journey. What's some advice you would want to hear or that you wish you had heard earlier in your career? Stay on your shit and stay the fuck out of my way. It's like, no, I just want <laughs> But, um, just... No, for real though, like stay on your shit and don't worry about what nobody else doing. Like if you see somebody else doing something, like an opportunity like you wish you had, don't let that make you feel like, oh, I should be doing this and I should be doing that. Like it's a time thing. Like everybody got their turn. You just got to wait and grind, wait for your turn. Like and don't let nothing discourage you. Numbers, views, likes, followers, all that extra shit. That shit don't matter. What matters is how many of them motherfuckers going to pay to come see you. Like, how many of them motherfuckers gonna scream your shit? So when you get that ass cap, that BMI, you can eat. <laughs> feel me? Like, you got just work, just grind. Don't worry about what nobody else doing. Get paid with that money. All right, so, um, what do you do outside, what do you do outside of music for fun? Or are you, like, a workaholic? I'm a workaholic. <laughs> I'm in the studio a lot. I don't really do shit else. For fun? I like to play the game, PS5. Oh, yeah, gamer? We might see you on Twitch one day? Yeah, I'm working on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm working on so that. So what you be playing on there? Mortal Kombat, GTA, Call of Duty. So like that. Those are my top three. Those are the top ones. Okay, and if you had to name your top five artists, dead or alive, who would it be? Okay. <laughs> Nikki, Drake, Wayne. Duh. Okay. Eesh. Dead or alive? Yeah. Uh, future. Future. Gotta throw my nigga future in Yeah. Um. Probably. Just one more. Overall, yeah. Uzi, Lil Uzi. Yo, Drake. nobody puts Uzi in a top five. For I real? Put that. Yeah. You, you know, it'd be the typical Tupac, Biggie. And yeah, I'm all born in. I respect it. Don't get me wrong. You're right. But like, I heard the songs and I fuck with them. I know them, but it's like, I ain't get to experience that era. You know, mm -hmm. like my era was like, like, like I tell my mom all the time, like. Like, y'all had Little Kim, my generation had Nicki. Y'all right. had them, we had, like, Drake, Wayne. Like, that's yeah. what I grew up listening to. Right. So. Yeah. But some people say, like, those games are the safe answers, but that ain't real. You know what I mean? Gives a fuck. <laughs> it's 2024. Though. Right, right, right. Um, did you see the drama on Twitter with Drake? What? <laughs> Wait, what happened? 
For real, for real. Drake uh got exposed. No way. <laughs> you be on Twitter? Oh, you on me on Twitter? Nah, wait. It, we got exposed. His peen? Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Do you feel like? <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like? You know, like being a child in the spot, like y'all dad gotta keep everything private. Yeah, but that's not the first Who time. did that? I don't. I don't know. Who I did. hate that. He he apparently did about. How the fuck did Drake get exposed? Bro? No, I'm, but even like, like what the fuck? I don't even believe that shit. <laughs> even that like, don't even sound right. So a female saying Drake saying her dick me. I don't know how it got on the thing. I don't know. Anonymous. Oh, girl, please, exposed. bitch, ho. But that's what they saying, anonymous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But even still, aside from Drake, like even like sexy red sex tape got leaked or whatever the case may be. Do you feel like like whoever your partner is, you not doing videos because of your stature or what you feel? Like? Oh, definitely. I don't never do that. I don't never record my sexual encounters because of shit like that. Right. It's wrong, male or female. You don't do that to mm-hmm. nobody. Unless, like, that's your job. Like, you do OnlyFans or some shit. Okay. Yeah. So, last game. We're going to play a game. I'm going to start this sentence. You finish sure. the sentence. Okay. So, I'm going to be like, my favorite color is. Okay. Got it? Okay. Mm-hmm. So, I hate when. Motherfuckers lie. I hate when people lie. I hate when people lie. Do not lie. <laughs> I work the best when I. Hi. When you're high. Smoke weed a lot. Okay. I don't play when it comes to my family. I knew myself. Say that. <laughs> I can't do business with you if you know, like, like you got too much going. Like if you always in the blogs and shit, I don't even be on you. Okay. I can't do business. Oh, uh, as we answered that. My favorite song I wrote is. Cause you be freestyling? Why is that hard? Yeah. <laughs> um, but my favorite one that came together probably the key. That ain't even out yet though. Okay, out of what's released. Okay, okay. Um favorite song you wrote. If you know, you know. That's out. Y'all can go check that out. That's the shit. My friends would say that I am. <laughs> A whole bunch of shit. Um, a whole bunch of shit. Okay, let's three. Let us know how you are with your friends. My friends funny, say uh, they always say that funny, dramatic, loud. Would you be spoiled or you just like? No, you, I just like I don't know. You are perfectionist. It gotta be perfect type shit. No, really. I I just be on it. Like I'm one of those friends. Like don't like if you rushing me. But I get there and you ain't ready, I'll leave and go home. I won't even go no more. Cause why you do that? Okay. Um, this chapter of my life is called The Year of Truth. No cap. My biggest turn off is Wait, what? Just anything? Anything. Um my biggest turn off is lip gloss on the backwood. I hate that. I hate that. <laughs> oh, I hate that. And um, last one. If you want to impress me, <laughs> oh, that's funny. If you want to impress me, do something that I can't. Period. <laughs> Period. That's so, it. so let the people know where to find you. How can they tune in? Um, make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram at Big Mally Three Times B I G M A L I Three X TikTok Big Mally Three. Subscribe to my YouTube channel Big Mally and follow me on Threads at Big Mally Three Times as well. Grouch.